how to draw defects we have to click on the button here that says defects it gives us a small screen which tells us how to use it but the basic points are we have one two three four five six seven eight potential defects to draw we can click on the button here to delete all defects the first thing to do is click on a defect button defect one button here using our left mouse button we can draw up any pattern this represents a volumetric type defect slag or something like that and the second thing is to draw it around the circumference wherever you want it click on defect 2 we can repeat that using the left mouse bus, uh, button and then place it on the circumference defect 3 now use the right mouse button here we have a single line defect for lack of fusion defects and then again we place that on the circumference fourth defect again I will use the right mouse button for a lack of fusion type defect defect number five I will use the left mouse button for volumetric type defect but I will increase the drawing size and I'll reduce Reduce the drawing size. Now to draw a lamination, a lamination, we would use the lack of fusion button, which is the right mouse button, which gives us a straight line. Draw it across the screen, and then using the shift key and the right cursor key we can move it across. When you've completed that, we can then click on the defect button again up here or on the OK button, and that will take us back to well testing. We could press the home key, which takes us back to the top of the pipe options we can pick to see the 3d drawing so the home key press the home key will take us back to zero press the key, page down key it will automatically scan the world and we can sit back and and try and look at the a scan display Clicking anywhere, it will stop the automatic scanning process. If we have a look at the at the uh, lack of fusion defect, you can see the way the sound is evenly reflected off it. There is a, a volumetric defect; the sound is bounced all over the place. The lamination, we should use a zero probe. I should really recalibrate for that one on the V1. I get two echoes as we did earlier. So now I've got a range of 50. Go back to the weld. The depth, the thickness of the metal is 20 on this 50 millimeter range for the zero the depth of the lamination therefore is 10 20 about 22 no 5 10 about 12 millimeters deep so you can see the importance of knowing what the screen range represents